welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we were replacing the rear brakes on this Nissan uh, X-Trail. Uh, it's got an electric handbrake, so first thing we're going to do is go into the diagnostics. And we're going to set reset it so the pistons go in. There's other ways around this, but I'd like to do it the proper way. Well, we've got the ignition switched on, the handbrake turned off. Which is the ideal um, set and so what, what it needs to be on for it did happen. Just wait for this information to read. Right, sorry, I had to update the system then. So we're going to start to replace brake pads. We're going to start. The calipers are going back now. There we go. So let's go take a look over by the wheel. So as you can see that the disc is heavily scored. Uh, the pads aren't terrible but this is this here is quite bad. So we're going to go out and change that today. Okay we're going to start by getting our screwdriver in here. And just prying it back like a normal caliper. Right with that then. What we're going to do is get your 13mm spanner there. 17mm on the top. On the inside, sorry, not the top. Let me just crack them off. I want to do the same down the bottom before it gets too loose. And shoots you in the face. Right, what we're going to try to do with those bolts loose is we'll try wrapping this around here, like so. Then lift the caliper off. It's too loose. We need to support it up there somehow. Pull that cut up, cut up it there. And then we're going to come in and take off these. Oh, carry out a cut to hub bolts, which seem to be very tight. There we are. Bit of giving it in. It's a 17 mil season. Okay, as you can see, I got it off. What I ended up doing was taking these guide pins out and giving me a bit more leverage on everything around here sort of thing, you know. Um, this out. We've got the disc come off with it, so that's all out together. I just have to clean everything up and put it back together now. Don't forget the mating points as well. Right, we've done the uh, the carrier up as well as you can see. So now let's reassemble everything. Today I'm using these blue point uh, discs and pads. Oh, blueprint, sorry. Discs and pads. They're um, OE quality. They're basically an exact replica of the Nissan ones. So they're uh, they're brilliant quality. They come with a three-year warranty, so it lets my customer drive them for three years without having to worry or anything like that. Uh, I do highly recommend them. This uh, these come with oil in transport to stop them from rusting. I'm just going to clean that off quickly. On the inside. We need to break clean and pick some more of that up. 
bit of Woodhouse Smith, Will Smith, and a fucking convertible on a sunny day down in Pithcall. Why not, innit? Let's check these on. And stick his carrier back on. You have to wrestle them back in again, like I got them out now. But let's uh, do them up as much as we can by hand, ready for the pads to be sat in. Fight them back on. A set of uh, blueprint pads. Then and we're going to uh, get out the box first. A bit of grease to the edges, just the contact points. It's got anti rattle shims on the back, so you don't need to put anything on there. That's all you need. I'm going to swing it over to here. Then we're just going to slide it in. There we are. Do the same on the other side. The piston is all the way attracted on this. So I'm just going to try sliding it straight on, which it will do. But before I do that, you can see it's all bobbling, it's not sat in there properly. It's because it, air's going behind the piston. Do you see that then? And it's sat down perfectly. Just drop it on. Line one up. Line the bottom up. Twist them all in. And obviously because of the um, the diagnostics, we'll have to uh, do that instead, rather than pumping the pedal first. But obviously do the other side, and then go to the diagnostics. Again, you know, there's, there's ways around it with this motor and adding keys and stuff, but I like to make sure that I do things properly so it doesn't cause any damage or any future problems for the customer. Right, well, that's basically it. Thank you for watching, everyone. Um, hang on, actually, what I'll do is I'll um, shut up. Right, we finished the uh, the back now altogether. I know I got a little bit premature earlier. Right, we've actually finished the back now with a bender. It's time to reset the pistons back. Just click finish. Start. You can hear them resetting now. There you go. And that's it. Jobs are good on. Um, if you enjoyed what you've seen, then please hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, if you've got any questions, leave in the comment section below. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Bye.